Hey everybody, welcome to Empyrean Frontier. This is a 4X RTS game, or it's an RTS game with a lot of uh, similarities to that of Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion and all that good shit. Now, you can see some of this in its map setup where you can have single systems or multi-system just sort of super battles. But anyway, let's go ahead and do like a, a standard 1v1. We're going to keep the AR on easy because they're quite hard and I'm very sick, so my uh, brain isn't really working that well. We'll play as the Empire versus off against the Union. I don't know if there's any differences between the two. Uh, there's a very unique art style going on. I I want to say it's cell shaded. No, it's it's probably not. It, it looks like, to me, it looks like the art style of Borderlands. But anyway, so you have two resources, ore and credits. You can obtain these resources from asteroids, scrap, or from different planets. Right. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a refinery. Scrap gives you credits and ore. Asteroids only give you ore. Mining colonies on planets and moons give you ore. And then trade ports give you credits. So that's pretty much how it works. Uh, we'll explain how to capture planets in about a second right now. I just want to expand out. Interesting thing about your command center over here is that it can move. Even when you deploy it. And you can build on top of it. So it's pretty cool. You need to have like a completely different thing going on. Which is interesting to say the least. Anyway, harvesters are just going to grab this res uh, the resources here. Let's go ahead and get some more harvesters, like so. i love to be able to change the orientation of my uh, space station, but eh, it's fine. Let's go ahead and get ourselves the uh, fighter bay. I'm going to keep this guy in the back. I could build it on a command center and use him as like frontline warfare with the Gatling guns. That would be really nice. But so far in this um, in this game, the best defense against fighters is just more fighters. And while that's done, we'll get up to tech 2. Now, I might be going really fast, but really you have to because this AI is quite savage. Got our anti-fighter groups up. Oh, you see that? Look at that right away. These AI, not not something to fuck with, I gotta say. Tech 2 is already finished from the looks of it, which is quite nice. Now we can get access to the colony station. As you can see, space combat is rather simple. You have different like counter types and stuff for your units. You can have cruisers, fighters, uh frigates the works. Right now, however, let's go ahead and grab ourselves two mining colonies, probably. No, no, no. Four mining colonies. And then we can get two atmosphere um, factories for each. One thing I really hate about this game is the lack of shift controls. Um, I feel like they're in there, but you see, I can shift and build a structure. It's kind of weird. Let me uh, demonstrate this right now. Let me do frigate shipyard. Yeah, you see, I can't do that until the reactor is done, which is quite annoying, actually. Alright, let's go ahead and set up shop on the moon over here. This will give us some ore, and if we increase the, um, if we get more at atmosphere factories, we can increase the efficiency of that area, or that moon rather, so that's pretty good. Alright, so fighters are just going to chill out. <sighs> oh, sorry about that, I'm just like, ooh, I am sick. What is this thing? Let's capture it. I have no idea what that is, actually. Right, now we can get some Sentinels. These are my uh, anti-fighter um, frigates. Oh, now he has access to it.
These things kind of remind me of Necron monoliths. They're just like giant pillars in space. Or like Halo ships that look like giant dildos. That's what Halo ships look like. They look like dildos, guys. Come on. Cool dildos with Mac cannons, but still dildos nonetheless. Oh god, now my nose is completely gone. Burst them down. You get a lot of resources at the start, but it sort of makes sense because a lot of the stuff that you get access to costs a lot of resources. Uh, it seems like that's a scrap station that gives you scrap over time, so that's fairly useful actually for income. As you can see, because I have some atmosphere factories, my efficiency is going up, which is quite good. Get a train station right over here. And you know what? We can go ahead and grab ourselves an MCS. And we can try and set up shop right over there. Spread out our command centers. You have a maximum amount of colonies that you can set up, but yeah, I think we're good for now. Move, I say. Move my block. Oh, God. This isn't Thor. Still pause. Let's go ahead and build the other ships as well. Destroyers are anti frigate frigates, and then flying saucers are kind of a meme specialist ship. Right, let's get up to the next tech. Now that tier 2 is Dunaru. Oh boy. There are a lot of fucking fighters. That's the main problem with the AI. They just do not stop building ever. Unit abilities. Oh, that would be the flying saucers right over there. They can repel and attract units. That's kind of their uh, gimmick. Another problem I have is the fact that there's no um, auto build, or from what I can see, there's no auto build, which is quite annoying when we're dealing with such massive fleets over here. Lack of shift and auto build commands are quite noticeable in these type of games, honestly. Because then you're stuck constantly, like, left clicking. Yeah, let's repel these guys if we can. Yeah, look at that. I'm actually pushing them back. That's really cool. I think I'm winning. I'm not even sure. Let's how you go over here and select some ships. Let's get the uh, a couple of sensors we get the Bob and the Artie. Here now, let's get the reactor like so. We get one here. And now they're just building frigates. Tons of tons of frigates.
just try to snipe these guys and so far you're seeing like their own command ship just kind of like coming out say hello to us and I'm not gonna like that That's a Bob frigates over there. Explosive AOE frigate, huh? Oh, we actually destroyed the scrapyard in our uh, sort of fight with these guys. That's kind of unfortunate. Let's go ahead and just uh, bring our mighty colonies here and here. Mighty colonies, trading ships, the works. Ooh, that was quite devastating. Bob frigates are really good. The artillery frigates right over there. It's just a giant carpet, really, though. Alright, we can get the cruiser shipyard right now. Should really try and uh, get some more power going. Probably go ahead and grab ourselves the uh, next refinery here. Ooh, cruiser right there. Oh la la, that thing is quite massive. Let's go ahead and just grab ourselves a reactor. We can grab ourselves a cruiser and just kind of beam off. Heavy fighter group really is only different in the form of, oh hey, this thing's a little bit more effective against, um, what was it? What was it called? Um, fighters. Yeah, I know not fighters. Um, frigates and stuff. Which I mean we could get, but the regular old fighters are just amazing against fighters. Pause my turrets over there, just maybe. I'd love to be able to zoom in on the battle and shit, but unfortunately, <laughs> this is not one of those type of games. Cruisers over there just beam it off. I don't know what cruisers can do actually. Heavy warship upgradable. Interesting. So you got some semblance of the um Ooh. Cool. Oh, where can I upgrade my stuff for the cruiser? Let me go ahead and back off. Cruisers are like the last tier of units you can get access to. Very small unit pool, which is quite unfortunate. Let's see what tier 4 has access to. Alright, we need about three colonies here, I want to say. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves three mighty colonies, and then we'll be just fine. Oh, is that how it's done? Ah, okay, I see what's going on. That's kind of a weird setup. There's just no indication that um, what I'm doing is actually working.
Time for the crazy battles to begin. Just build out more cruisers. Yeah, let's get the super wave cannon as well. Why not? Let's see what that thing can do. Uh, battle for your graphic armada. But yeah, battles are quite short at this one. Quite, quite, quite short. <laughs> okay, let's move more of our space station. Here we can, uh, kind of like choose our target and shit, which is quite cool for our wave cannon. It will destroy small moons, holy shit. God, cruisers are just huge! The big dildos in space! Love there to be more options for customizing your cruiser, but this is good enough. This dude is completely done, so. Yeah, let's rotate. There we go. Do want to try to kind of show you guys the, um, the epic explosions and shit in this game, obviously. stuck sometimes fire oh shit actually hold on before we kill it off and that might be his only structure let's go ahead and back off so we can actually use that wave gun. I really don't know what that is actually. I think that's their command center, but I could be wrong there. Now, I actually don't know if you could actually uh, attack planets that you uh that the player owns i'm not seeing any like invasion mechanic or anything like that so interesting to say the least i'd like to see like invasion vessels or something being implemented so that players can uh attack planets earlier in the game maybe there is and i'm just not seeing it right now say once you get like a max army of cruisers you're kind of unstoppable I'd like their I'd like this thing to go by a little bit faster as I can definitely end them right now if I wanted to But yeah, it's kind of like a faster paced Sins game, if I'd have to call it anything.
Reminds me of some ambitious StarCraft mods, actually, now that I think about it. Let's make the, the biggest anti, like, fighter cruiser the world has ever seen. Let's see what's how this goes. Ooh. Wow. All right. They were not fucking around with that. All right. Let's just go ahead and win the game. So, yeah. Game that's still in uh, development, so do keep that in mind. You already tell that there's probably like a lot of things that will be added in later on that we're not seeing right now. Yeah, let's just like just like ram into these guys. I like the art style though, it's quite distinct. I'm just like not zooming in as much, obviously, because of uh, all the fighting going on. the resource scaling is balanced per se but it's it's interesting I like there to be an easier way to upgrade these uh, cruisers He built a lot of uh, command centers. Maybe I should have followed his uh, kind of instruction manual on the base building or empire management. Upgrades? Oh no, you did it. I don't, it's still hard to tell honestly, like what has upgrades and what doesn't. That's my problem. Oh, I guess by. Yeah, I guess now I've given them all upgrades. by selecting all that my problems just run uh, go away so fuck what I just said it is actually kind of easy once you just double click then you can do it in mass maybe like templates would be nice yeah templates would be nice <laughs> I wonder if the shift command does work but it's under a different key be rather curious Fuck, I have to scour the universe looking for this one fucking ship.
Oh, you could actually attack plants with the cruiser from what I can see. Alright, so I was a fucking liar yet again. Could probably do it with frigates as well, can you? Yep, once again, Master Ruffle is a fucking liar. Just take away my YouTube badge, why don't you? Alright, just keep shelling, boys. Oh, Gatling guns, there we go. Get it, do I need to kill all units? It's taking a long time to actually destroy this. Oh, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and just blow it up, I guess. Bam! Really cool explosion effects. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time in the next one. Bye-bye, and please let me know if you want to see more of this game.